Hi, my dear friends. Good day. May God bless all of you in the name of the Lord Jesus. And through you, He may bless your family, your loved ones, your friends, your acquaintances. But I would like to give a tip to you, a tip of faith. You know that God, when he spoke to Abraham, he said, Look, Abraham, the Lord called Abraham and said, Abraham, I will bless those who bless you. I will bless those who bless you. And I will curse those who curse you. Olha só. Deus. God determined the blessing to those who would bless Abraham and all his descendants. God determined also the curse upon those who would curse Abraham and all his descendants. So, whoever is a friend of Israel is, an, is a friend of God. Though Israel lives in sin, which does not mean anything about this because what matters is what is that God determined a blessing to Abraham and his descendants. So they are blessed at least financially with wisdom, with power, with strength. They are blessed. Well, if they will be saved or not, that is the problem of God with them. But those who bless Abraham, or rather who curse Abraham, are cursing themselves. And those who bless Abraham and his descendants are blessing themselves. This extends to all those who are children of Abraham by faith, which is the case of Christians. We are children of Abraham by faith. We are the descendants of Abraham by faith. So then, my dear friend, God wants that you may be a blessing itself. This is what he said to Abraham. He said, you shall be a blessing. God determined that Abraham to be a blessing itself. You can confirm that when you obey the word of God, when you follow the laws of God, the discipline of the kingdom of God, the harmony of the kingdom of God, then you are also constructing your financial life. Then you are going to also reap the fruits of this investment. Because the blessing comes when there's obedience to the word of God and curses come when there's disobedience to the word of God. You can verify that Adam and Eve, while they obeyed God, they were blessed. They did not even need to choose because they had the blessing itself. But from the moment that Adam and Eve disobeyed the word of God, that's when curses entered the world. That's it. Curses started there. Cursed came with sin. They sinned, they rebelled against God. So then curses came. So curses come because of sin. And the Bible says with clarity that the salary of sin, the wages of sin is death. So think well about this, my dear friend. Your life depends on your obedience, on your head, on your mind. It doesn't depend on your enthusiasm or your religiosity or your charity. No. Your life depends on your obedience to the word of God. Are you obedient to the word of God? Then you can be sure that sooner or later the blessing will come towards you. The blessing of God will come towards you. That's it. You don't even need to chase blessings. Blessings will come to you. But when we commit sin, then it's not the blessing that comes after us, it's the curses. So today you're 
reaping blessings depending on your obedience or your reaping curses on account of your disobedience which is sin so as I'm as I usually say we're going to break through do you know why I say this and I'm going to say this until the last day of my life when I will leave this word I'm going to say we're going to break through because I have planted obedience and that obedience guarantees the blessing it guarantees me to be a blessing itself which is what needs to happen with you obedience to the word of god obedience to the word of god not obedience to the word of the past or the church or the religion no but obedience to the word of god so that's why we have to have the word of God on the tip of our tongue so that we may not divert from it to the left or to the right that is the secret that is the tip to you my dear friend may God bless you and through you all other people may see this in you until shortly